was listening to all these stories, uh, very inspirational stories, and then I looked over my life and I realized that the majority of the decisions that happened in my life were made because I was being stupid. So, <laughs> it's, it's most of them. There's like one or two good ones, but other than that, but I figured I'd just tell you a story about an uh, event that happened when I went to Europe. So I went to Europe and there's this group of islands out in the Pacific, technically part of Portugal, called the Azores. And on this island, they have an event that's similar to the running of the bulls, and you can see where this is going. Uh, <laughs> and it's, um, well, what it is, they had the bull, and they had the street, and it's just kind of had the bull put in the center, and they had to go up and down the street, and they kind of, and um, it's just fun, and they do this like all summer long. So, uh, um, one of the things they do there is they um, record it, and they sell a video to, I guess, um, I don't know, people who like the stream sports shows, I guess. And they sell that stuff, and they have video cameras. And one of the people they have there are people uh, whose job it is to, um, like the bolt hunters you see in the arenas, if it's their job to like take like the, um, the, uh, you know, the red tape, and they make press smash things and chase people and get into places we're not supposed to be. So I was there with a group of friends, and most of these guys were from New Jersey, and one, and one my, I still keep in contact with him, like, so one of my best friends, He's like the textbook definition of a guido. Just super orange skin, <laughs> tattoos, and of course I'm from Texas, so I'm like, I'm just kind of baffled by this. This is before the Jersey Shore really got popular, so. So we're sitting there, and we're uh, up on like a ledge thing, watching the bull go back and forth. And one of the um, things, he turns to me and he says, hey, why don't we go down there, because he's got his video camera, and he's recording it. He's like, we, we, can, we can get a better shot of the bull down there. And um, I turn to him, and I'm like, with concern, I'm like, you know, it's a live bull down there, right? And he turns to me and then he says, yeah, but you know, you're from Texas, you know all about bulls and stuff, right? You know how they are. And it's like, I've ridden a horse twice in my life, that's the extent of knowledge I have in my We go down there, we find this courtyard, and it's got like a fence about a gate high, and the gate is, I'm pretty sure the gate has seen like both world wars, like that's how old it is. So, we're in there, and we're seeing this pen, and the guy, you know, they see the bull going up and down, we've got good shots of everything. And then the Tantra guy turns and he sees these two like American kids in a pen and he's like, and you just see like, if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. So he jumps on the fence and starts like putting like the rope over the, um, the uh, cloth thing over the gate and the bull just see, like, oh, so just starts smashing it and smashing it. And I'm kind of naive at this time. I was like, no, the gate's going to hold. And that was probably followed by the bull just smashing straight through the gate, splinters going everywhere. And we were recording this. And you're watching the recording as the bull like bursts through the gate. It just turns into like a deleted scene from like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> it's just like, it's, oh my God! And this camera's shaking everywhere. And then, and then when the camera refocuses, we're actually like 15 feet off the ground. I don't know to this day, don't know how we got like 15 feet high off the ground. It's a weird like monkey parkour and things just kicked. <laughs> and then we're just sitting there, sitting on my ledge, and I'm looking down at this angry bull just pacing around. It's like, oh, we're you know because. I don't know if bulls can look up or something, I don't think they can. But <laughs> he's sitting there, he's like, where are they go? And so I'm looking down at him, it's like, oh, this is the best vacation ever. Thank you. <laughs>